So yeah, before we get back into this, I feel like going shiny hunting. This is the last stage before King's Fortress, where you have to use the weapons you've collected to break these security crystals. This one by far is the most annoying, requiring the remote mine. You can kind of cheat it a little bit that way. And every time you shatter a crystal, you get a giant bolt. Each giant bolt is worth 100 normal ones, so they're nice, big, and shiny. Oh, get up there. The rest of these are pretty easy, though. This one requires the copy vision. The color of the crystal pretty much tells you which weapon you need to use. And, well, sometimes it's just flat out obvious. Oh, yes, I have to actually go and attack it. There we go. Magic card's nice in that respect, how you can aim it up. That helps a lot, it really does. Ah, uh, the Tengu Blade. With its little bouncing air blast. A quick note about the Tengu Blade, it does give Mega Man a dash attack, but it's about as effective as the Charge Kick and the fact that unless it outright kills something, chances are you are going to get hit by it. Time for the Spread Drill. You can actually split it up to four times. Like I said, I'm not sure if there's any kind of a power sacrifice on that as far as how much damage it does. Time for the ice wall. And finally, just a flat out screen clearing thunderbolt. go back out. That's all there is to it. In your normal average game, that is a good place to go into occasionally just to get large bolts to buy stuff. But once all the crystals are gone, that opens the path to King's Fortress where, uh, yeah, we won't be going. <laughs> I have it on good authority that this place is bad enough with base. Doing it with Mega Man, by my rules, is just not happening. I already remember some rather nasty ice wall puzzles. Yuck. So, yeah. Seriously, now we're moving on to the outtakes.